Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your audio files in your Logic projects so you can take really big Logic projects and consolidate them down into smaller formats for sharing or sending across the internet or working with a collaborator. And I'm not talking about the cleanup feature. I'm not talking about the consolidate feature. This is a different feature that basically takes all of your audio files that are unused and trimmed up and gets rid of all of that excess so that excess audio is not in your project. A uh, big shout out to Lee here who brought up this question. I'm helping a friend with a project. He did a live multi-track recording of his band that was about three and a half hours long with 16 tracks and ended up being 36 gigabytes. So basically this is a situation where they're using Logic for live recording. They hit record, the band plays their entire set and then they hit stop. So it's just one long continuous three and a half hour long recording. There was one song that I mixed and I'm wanting to share that with another friend to work on it together. I've duplicated the file, cut out all of the music in front and behind the song that I'm mixing and deleted unused tracks. Now I'm working with 10 tracks for four and a half minutes and the file size is still the same. Yeah, so this is a really easy fix, but probably one that is uh, a little more hidden than most of Logic's features, so I can totally see why uh, you might be confused about this. But the first thing I want to explain here is the reason why when you trim something up that it's not deleted is because Logic is a non-destructive editor. So if you trim things up, and you save the project, you can still go back into that project later and you can trim out that file and get the audio back. It doesn't delete things that you trim. It doesn't delete things uh, that you trim out with the marquee tool. So that's the reason why uh, you can't do it that way. The first thing I would recommend doing is actually to make a copy of the original project so you don't lose the full length recordings. So I've got my logic project right here. I'm just gonna hit Command C, Command V to copy it. And then the one I'm going to optimize, I'll just change the name to Optimize. So just take the original, stash that somewhere on a hard drive as a backup so you always have those files if you ever need them again. Let's go ahead and open up the optimized one now. And right now, this project, if I show info or get info on it, uh, right now this is saying that this is... 3.2 gigabytes. So it's a little smaller than, you know, the person who asked the question, but a uh, similar thing here. So if I select all, let's say I just want like this section of this recording and I want to get rid of everything on the left and right side of that edit that I just made. What you can do is you click up here in your project browser and then you're going to go up to edit and then you can select select all. You can also select unused. But really what you need to do is select all of the audio files that you want to consolidate, that you want to optimize, which in your case might be all of them. This can also be helpful if you've done all of the edits for a project and you're moving on to mixing and you want to get rid of any you know extra audio that you clipped off. I don't recommend doing that if the file size isn't like too big, but at the same time, if you're trying to send, a, you know, a big project over to a collaborator, I can totally see how sending a 10 gigabyte file may not be doable. So what you can do is you click on audio file here, this menu, and there's an option in here called optimize. What I just want to be very clear about is optimizing the files is much different than using the project management cleanup feature because cleanup will only get rid of unused audio files. Even though I trimmed up these audio regions, the entire file is still going to be recognized as a used audio file. So that's why we have to use the optimize file feature. So once again, select all or select just the regions that you want to optimize. Go up to audio file, go to optimize. It's gonna show you the number of unused samples that are going to be removed. And you can also adjust uh, the additional preservation, which will add an additional amount of time to the end and beginning of any trimmed audio files. So if you want to save like two seconds before and after, just in case, you can type in 2000 milliseconds and then select remove. And what you'll see is it uh, actually like sort of re-renders the waveforms for each of the audio regions. And you'll see that the audio regions now showing as smaller regions within the project browser. If I hit command S to save, let's come back out here and let's uh, get info. And sure enough, 
the new one is 396 megabytes instead of 3.2 gigabytes like the original was. And again, this is why I recommended making a copy first, because if you don't make a copy, you permanently lose all of that audio data. So make a copy of the project first, then apply the optimization to it. So that's how you can optimize your audio files in Logic Pro. Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to B Topper, who sent me these really rad uh, stage lights that I'm going to be using as uh, sort of backlighting for my videos. They're really cool. This video is not sponsored by B Topper, but I do have a review that'll be coming out on the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.